Hi guys! So today, we're going to look at the cast of Moon Lovers and where they are now, after completing the amazing series that got us hooked on them in the first place. We will start off with Lee Ji Eun, Korea's national little sister and queen of pop. She's a well-known singer-songwriter signed under Adam Entertainment as of 2020. Her birth name is Lee Ji Eun, and she was born on May 16, 1993, which makes her 28 years old right now. She was 22 years old while acting in Moon Lovers, and there's really no difference to her appearance as of now. She's still as beautiful and as young as she was back then. After the show ended, she even won a Best Couples Award for it. She has gone on to star in other dramas like the infamous Hotel Del Luna that launched her career into mainstream success. Everyone wanted to be Jang Man Wo, or at least be friends with her. She's also produced chart-breaking songs since then with hits like Lilac, and Strawberry Moon. She even had amazing collabs with Suga from BTS on her song 8. And featured on Jay Park's single, Ganadara. With both collaborations being an immense success for her. She's had her fair share of dating rumors, but it was confirmed that she was dating Chang Kiha for four years before the couple officially broke up in 2017, due to the fact that they had been having an on and off relationship, so they decided to call it a quits. He was 11 years older than her and is the only relationship of hers that we ever knew of. She is currently single, we're really good at hiding her relationship if she is even in one, and has confirmed that her ideal type changes whenever a cool guy appears on TV. Well, I have to agree. Me too. Lee Jun Ji, who is the handsome heartthrob of the series, is also a singer, dancer, and comedian, born on the 17th of April, 1982. At 39, he looks just as handsome as ever, and the fine man hasn't aged a bit. After Moon Lovers, he made his first Hollywood debut by making an appearance in the final installment of the Resident Evil series, titled Resident Evil The Final Chapter. In early 2016, he was confirmed to be dating actress Jayan Haibin, but sadly, the two separated in August of 2017 due to personal reasons. Jayan Haibin likes mature, warm-hearted women, but as of now, he seems to not have found her and is still looking. Good luck to him. He has made a name for himself as a Haiyu star, and it seems like we won't stop seeing him on our big screens. Not that we were complaining, though. Kang Hai Nio, the second male lead who we tried to hate but unfortunately could not, was born on February 21st, 1989. At 33 years old now, he looks way younger than the character he portrayed on Moon Lovers. After the film, he managed to bag an excellence award at the 2016 SBS Drama Awards for the same film. He later joined the military in 2017 and was appointed as Honorary Ambassador of the Military Manpower Administration before being discharged in May 2019. He is still in the acting industry as both a musical performer and on-screen actor. He was rumored to be in a relationship with rapper Cheetah, but he clarified the story by saying that he had a female friend called Cheetah, and when he posted a picture and mentioned her at one time, people started assuming that it was Cheetah the rapper. He even mentioned the fact that he has never met rapper Cheetah. He likes professional women, but has decided not to be in a relationship yet, until he's able to reach a certain point in his career. So we can confirm that as of now, Kang Hai Neo is single. The handsome Nam Ju Yuk, who appeared in Moon Lovers alongside his best friend Ji So, was born February 22nd, 1994, making him 27 years of age. With his youthful looks and excellent acting skills, he has managed to become a Korean sensation with his lead roles in various dramas. He recently worked with Kim Tae-ri in a television drama called 2521, which became a high-grossing sports-related film and can be said the highest one for 2022. 
In 2021, he was featured in Forbes 30 Under 30 under entertainment and sports section, owing to his successful acting and modeling career. He is the ambassador of Dior in Asia and is known to be quite the philanthropic, donating to people needing aid. Back after completing filming Weightlifting Fairy, he confirmed that he is dating his then co-star Lee Sung Kyung. But four months later, YG Entertainment confirmed that the two models had parted ways. This means that Nam Joo Yuk is currently single. And good news, he's looking! Let's also not forget that he is ranked 37th on TC Chandler's The 100 Most Handsome Faces of 2018, Jisoo. While most actors on our list have had tremendous achievements in their lives after starring in Moon Lovers, this has not been the case for Jisoo Ho, who was born on March 30th, 1993, making him 28 years old. While for a while after the series, his career actually bloomed after he starred in Strong Women Do Bong. Soon, it all plummeted when he was caught up in bullying allegations. In 2021, Jisoo was approved to play the main lead of the drama, Where the Moon Rises. But six episodes into the series, he was accused of school bullying and sexual allegations, and thus was dropped by JTBC and was recast by actor Na In Woo, that then appeared from episode 9 onward of the drama. He even admitted to the allegation and apologized on Instagram, saying, I would like to sincerely apologize to those who were hurt by me. I have absolutely no room for excuses and my actions in the past. They are unforgivable. As I began acting, I was able to come this far due to the fact that I covered up my past and, as a result, received undeserving love and attention from the public. I now beg forgiveness to those who were undoubtedly deeply hurt for a long time, seeing me acting, and I will reflect on the unforgivable actions of my past and repent. I sincerely pray that the drama will not suffer any more damages. Since his military report had come in December 2020, he decided to enlist in 2021 amidst his controversies. And due to the fact that he went through surgery in 2016 to fix his acute osteomyelitis, he is currently serving as a public worker in the military. He was dropped by his agency due to the controversy, but his legal team has released several statements explaining that Jisoo had been falsely accused and that some perpetrators had actually come forward to apologize while Jisoo was suing the rest. All we can hope is that he gets the justice that he deserves. For K-pop lovers, it was really amazing seeing Beyond Bakun from EXO flexing his acting in Moon Lovers. Some of us even cried while watching his sad death in the movie. But despite that, he received a new star award at the 2016 SBS Drama Awards. Don't worry guys, in the real world, this 30-year-old boy is well and healthy. He was born May 6, 1992, but has the visuals of a young Korean teen boy. Just like his senior, IEU, he is also a K-pop idol and debuted with the infamous EXO in 2012. While being a part of EXO, he is also a member and leader of Super M, SM's global project group. On July 1, 2018, he launched his own fashion brand, Privé by BBH, and opened his own YouTube the next year. In July of the same year, he debuted as a solo artist, releasing his first extended play, City Lights. Recently, one of his singles, Candy, broke the internet and was highly charted for weeks. He was in a public relationship with Girls' Generation's Tyone for 14 months before they decided to separate. He is currently serving his military service as a public worker since he's been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism and thus cannot work on active duty. All the best. We'll be waiting for your comeback. Han Hana, the evil queen of moon lovers, is actually a 33-year-old beautiful woman with a bubbly personality, born on January 30th, 1989. Nothing much is known about her since she is a pretty private person, so we can't tell whether she is single or not. What we can tell for sure is the fact that her acting improved so much after Moon Lovers that she is actually starring in multiple dramas as the main lead. She took over Volume Up as the new DJ starting on January 6, 2020, 
and even managed to win the new DJ of the Year award at the 2020 KBS Entertainment Awards. We might not know much, but we've seen that she is slaying in her recent dramas. This is all for this video. In case you have more information you would like to share about the cast of Moon Lover, you can leave your comments in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways, have a great day and see you in my next video.